Hey everyone, this is Will with SRT Amplification, and today we have something on the bench that I believe to be very rare. And I want to show you what it is. Um, this, I'll get a close up view of it here in a minute, but uh, this is a basically an auto transformer, Variac, if you will. Um, I know Variac's a uh, trademark name. I actually have an actual Variac right here uh, made by General Radio Corporation who actually trademarked the name Variac or Variable AC Supply. Uh, but this is an auto transformer I believe is all it is. I don't think the isolation will we'll find out when we um, break into it. But it's made by Tektronix. So um, I did not know that Tektronix made um, a unit like this, it's a type 76 TU line voltage control unit. And it's got a line in switch, line out. So you can see what your, your mains voltage is with the meter, or you can see what you're putting out with the meter. Uh, it's got a output fuse and a line fuse, 10 amps on the line, eight amps on the output. Um, and then a power on, a little jewel light. One thing that's got me worried um, is this knob is, so I'm, I'm hoping that shaft's not broken there, but we'll see when we break into this thing. Um, this thing's got a sit screw to hold the knob on the shaft, but the shaft's just moving back and forth. So anyway, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I have not seen another one online. I, I searched for it. I cannot find another unit like this. I cannot find a manual for it. I did find a parts manual for it. Uh, but as many uh, Tektronix products that's out there that you can find the manual of just about everything. But you cannot find the user manual or the service manual for this thing at all. So um, I think we'll just take this apart I haven't been in it yet uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see about the shaft because if this shaft is broke that might not be a good thing let's, let's see what we got here so these uh, looks like these screws are retained in the side here so they don't come out so I guess this thing just slides up. Yeah. Slides up and out like that. And so, oh, well, it looks to be just a regular run of the mill auto transformer. Pretty much the same as, as uh, this unit I have up here. Basically the same, uh, just in a much larger package, which really doesn't need this space in here, but um, I guess it's just how they built it. This may have been, they had some other units like DC power supplies and stuff like that, uh, that were in cases similar to this. So they just may have used the same case uh, to put this in. It's got this, uh, well, I need to get my, I don't have a plug, uh, a cord, power cord for this thing, but it's got a, a male end here, so you just have to, like, plug an extension cord or something in there, or I'll have to fix something up for it. Uh, this is good the way this is, because I've seen other units where this is, like, recessed into the uh, the chassis itself or into the, the enclosure and you would have to have something that actually fit in the hole to, to mate up with this but an extension cord should work here. So let's look at the shaft. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here, show you this. So 
So what it looks like is you have this collar right here that the sit screw has came out. The sit screw on this part of the shaft is good, but the sit screw on the shaft that turns the the rotor here for the brush for the contacts is missing. So maybe it's in the bottom here somewhere. I think I see it. I actually think I see it. Let me get out my little handy dandy magnet here. I think it's right back here in the corner. There it is. Huh. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this in there. Let's see if I can do that. It doesn't matter where this it doesn't matter where this lines up right here uh, because uh, I can take the knob off and adjust it on that side so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, try to get this in here and then get my All right, I'm going to get a set of Allen keys. See if I can get this thing in here. Actually, I've got just the, just the product for this. Let me show you. Just the product. Okay, so my, my wife bought, bought this for me here a while back. I don't know, a couple years ago, I guess. But um, it's got all sorts of stuff in it. But it's perfect for this. So it's got all these different bits, right? And get my spectacles on here. So we just got to find the one that, that fits this. I believe it's this one right here. Or this one. It's 1.5. Yep, right there. So see, 1.5 millimeter, and then you use this little handy dandy screwdriver here, this is going to be perfect, this sure beats, you know, a, a Allen wrench set or something like that in, in this particular instance. Okay. So here we go. And what's cool about this is, is this, this screwdriver is like a jeweler screwdriver where it has the little rotating end right here. So that's great. And I just lost this thing again. This thing's not magnetic. I guess I should magnetize these bits. There is also an extension I could have used with it um, that chucks in this handle, but I think I think this will work. Maybe if I can get it started. There we go. It has started. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's. It's going in there. So tighten this thing up. All right. So now the shaft turns. And now I just got to adjust this. Um, I'm going to have to have an Allen key. Uh, hex key for this because it's recessed in there and that bit won't reach it so let me get that real quick and we'll get this handle off and align it okay i have i have both a metric and a standard so i believe this is probably going to be the standards here 
Let's see what it is. It's probably like a one eighth or a nine sixty fourths, I believe. I actually got this loose one here. I mean, this loose one here, may, yeah, this thing's going to fit it. So, man. So, let me find. These things don't want to come up. Didn't want to come off there. All right, so I got it loosened a little bit. You guys um, have heard, but uh, Taylor Hawkins, the uh, drummer for Foo Fighters, died yesterday or last night, I guess. Um, right before a show they were about to do in uh, Columbia. So, yep. Never know, never know. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can prize this off here. It's not wanting to come off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what I got here. Your standard knob puller won't pull one of these things off, that's for sure. It's kind of wanting to work work its way off, but there it goes. It's coming now, I think. Well. So I can probably just rotate it where it needs to be. And tighten it down. That's zero. And that's a hundred. Okay, hundred percent, zero percent. So let me just tighten this down right here where it's at. And that should work. Just not want to come off of there. Uh oh. Well the whole thing came out. Well great. Now I gotta restart this. zero to a hundred all right okay so let's get this thing a, a once over look here and uh, let's check the fuses looks like a that 10 amp fast yep it's a 10 amp fast blow right here. Let's check the continuity on that real quick. See what we got there. Good to go. Yep, 
and check the output views it should be an 8 and it is an 8 no it's a 10 uh-huh so they got a 10 in the in the output so let me see if I got an 8 here have an eight I'm gonna have to order an eight I'm gonna stick this 10 back in there we're not gonna be powering up anything on the line side anyway we'll just get a, a voltage measurement and see how it's doing this needs to be tightened up on that side so let's take this side off let's see where we're at here So this part slides up a little bit, and then slides up. Okay, there we go. <sighs> it's kind of dusty. Probably need to clean this up a little bit. Get my little vacuum out here. Yeah, I'll get I'll get all this. Looks like it was, has a bunch of uh, hair, dog hair or something in the bottom. I'll get all that stuff cleaned out of there. I think it'll be all right for us to test it. Um, it's got, let me check the connections here. This fuse holder right here is loose, so I'm going to... Not really any good way to get in there to tighten this nut. That's a terrible way to do that, but see, normally you take this face plate off so you can get in there with the proper pair of adjustable wrench or something wrench okay so that's tightened back up there's a switch looks good connections up here on the top for the windings so this is the auto transformer uh, I'm sure you guys know what an auto transformer is you don't have any isolation between your output and your and your mains you're basically just tapping off windings of the, the mains basically to to get um, um, this one only goes up to 100% so you can only get line voltage out right so whatever you're putting in that's what you can get out uh, if you put 120 in you can get 120 out uh, so there's no um, extra windings on here for you know like some like this one right here I can get up to 140 um volts on it i believe or 140 percent whatever that comes out to i believe this one though i've actually looked at this one it comes out 140 volts that's not a percentage that's an actual voltage on this one so you can see there it's got right right there i got it at 120 and that's that's what this meter will read if i turned it on um should read 120 yeah 119 see so if you go all the way up to there that's 145 146 that's past the 140 mark there's about the 140 mark right there 138 so this is in actual volts whereas i believe this one is a percentage it goes from zero to 100 percent so All right, 
So, this fuse holder here is kind of loose. Okay. So, okay, so I'm going to get these sides put back on here and we'll give this thing a spin. So what I'm going to do to power this thing up is um, I'm going to take a extension cord, just plug it right here into the back. Make sure this thing's off. Yep. See what it does. All right, so that's powered up. I mean, there's really not a lot that can go wrong with this. Um, you could have some shorted windings or something like that, but we checked all the connections, made sure there was no you know, shorts to grind or anything like that. Everything looked good. Uh, so what I've got here is a little suicide cord. And this is very, I, I like this, the way these outlets are, are turned kind of sideways like this. That's really great. So it kind of gives you a little bit of room. So I got the suicide cord here. Plug it in. Let's see it. And we'll get our voltage measurements right off of that. So let me grab the meter. We'll see how accurate this is with the with the actual analog meter. Well, actually, right here we could should be able to see the line. Oh, I guess we got to turn the power on first. Power on. I don't have any jewel light. Line voltage it says we have. Let me get you down here where you can look a little better. says we have 120 volts on the line jewel lights out so we have to do something about getting that replaced there may not even be a lamp in here yeah there's a lamp it's uh it's burning but it's really dim turn the power off on that let's replace that real quick i think i got a bulb for that so let's see here Yeah, I got a bulb for that. Okay, let's see here. My bulb bin. Yeah, so I got a box of bulbs. Miniature lamps that should fit. I'm a thinking. Let's see. And we'll put the little jewel on there. It's kind of dirty looking. All right, let's see what we got. That light just does not want to. Hmm. These are 120 volt bulbs, I believe.
Interesting. Well, that's not wonder. Work. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to see what's going on with that. That does come on, but it's just awful dim. Okay. All right, so we have a 120 volts, and then right now we got zero volts out. And let me go ahead and hook up the meter here so you can see. I'll put this meter up here on the top where you can look at it as well. Now you can see we're going up in voltage. 10 volts, 12 volts. What is our meter reading? It's just not even gotten off the off the zero yet, has it? Twenty volts. Thirty volts, and we're at the twenty mark. So this thing's not this dial is not calibrated at all. But our meter is reading 30 volts right there on the meter. Pretty good. So 31 here on the on the DMM. Let's go up to 60. I'm not seeing any dead spots. There's 60. So I could I could pretty well accurately uh, use this this meter right here without having to check it. It's it's that close. Obviously this dial's not. Um, well, so this is percentage. Remember we talked about. So this dial's got to be percentage because we're at. Um, well, even with the percentage, it's not matching up because we're almost at 45% and we're already at 60 volts. So let's see what it gets up to. Maybe it does go higher than 120. Okay. Okay, so this is 100% of 150. Full scale deflection 150. So it does go up above line voltage. It does go up above line voltage. So that's great. So yeah, we can go all the way up to 150 volts. And that should be the 100% mark on the dial. Pretty close. We're at 146 volts. That's what it'll get up to. All right. Let's bring it back down. So 50% should be about 75 volts. There's 50% and it's reading about 70 volts. 71 volts, something like that. Which we were at about 146 full scale on there, I guess, right? So that's about right. Okay, so it works. Um, we still need to fix that light. Uh, but other than that, everything, and I still need to change that fuse to an 8 amp fuse before I, you know, put any load on it. Uh, the line voltage uh, switch works. Output works. Everything works. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to that other outlet. Make sure that other outlet's working. Clippy, clippy. 
and let's see if it works. Yep. 60 volts, 61 volts. All right, there we go. So, like I said, I don't have anything, I don't know anything about this other than um, it's an auto transformer made by Tektronix. It's a Type 76 TU line voltage control unit. I do have the parts manual for it. If anybody out there in YouTube land has the service manual or the user manual or both, uh, if you could in a PDF format or even hard copy, uh, if you and you want to part with it, let me know. I'd like to have it. Um, but yeah, for anybody who hasn't ever seen one of these, here it is, and it works and this may actually go on my bench and replace that one if I can find room, but, um, or m maybe go over here on my other bench, uh, and I'll have two setups, two AC Variac setups, um, because I don't think I have room on this, this bench, but I may, I may have room over here on this side. So I definitely don't have room on this side. This one, this is pretty tight right here. So, all right. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever seen one of these or what you know about it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.